Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Tennis Manager 2022 and another part of our career mode. Today we are continuing our journey with Roger Federer, Matteo Berrettini and Eugenie Bouchard as we look to progress through the 2022 season. Now, I did have a couple of comments in the last episode about why am I focusing on Federer so much? Well, because Federer was the player that we chose um, when we built our academy, he is actually our, our major player. He is our the, the player we are focusing on, if you like, um, this season. Uh, there's not actually a way I can change that. As far as I know, I can't go into Matteo Berrettini and make him uh, the player that we focus on. Now, of course, we will watch Berrettini uh, when, when he gets to finals and stuff like that, but I, I don't think I can um, do anything with that going forward. Um, Federer, you know, uh, has had a tough season so far, um, uh, losing to players that he, he shouldn't be, really. Um, second round of the Australian Open, of course, and uh, got to the last 16 of the um, of the Rotterdam tournament, he's got the Rio Open coming up. Uh, hopefully, we can we can get some good money from that and uh, get some get some performances on the board because he he has been uh, really really struggling recently. So uh, let's see if we can increase his workload a little bit. Um, yeah, he has got a tournament next week and the week after that. So. Federer is going to be playing a lot uh, in in the future. Uh, we have got 1.17 million in the bank. I don't think that's quite enough to get another player in the in the bank just yet. Um, but we will keep our eyes open to see if we can we can sort that out um, very very soon. That that's going to be the idea. Uh, Eugenie Bouchard up to 159 in the world. Obviously won in um, Bernie, and then uh, got to the semi final in uh, the Midland. She's got the uh, Acap Acapulco Open coming up next week, so we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, and Matteo Berrettini, he is going to be playing in the Rio Open with Roger Federer. So uh, let's get into the action, I suppose. Let's see how we get on. Uh, there's our weekly team report. Where are our unread items? There you go. Madison Keys, evaluation complete. Uh, she did seem to want to join us before. Let's just propose a contract. Uh, uh, yeah, we can have another major player. Uh, contract length, two seasons. Uh, I'm assuming that's just from what we've got. Yeah, two million. Okay, <clears throat> we'll accept that, and hopefully we'll have enough money by the time we get to it. Or we go into debt. I don't know if that's actually a possibility, but we'll see. Right, uh, let's uh, push on. There's nothing we can do about uh, the weekly training routines for now. Um, she's refused it. Don't really know why. There you go. Uh, Berrettini is definitely getting better. Bouchard is as well. Federer is still getting better as well, which is good. Um, an agree uh, agreement in principle, but there you go. Um, right, let's have a little look at what we can do training-wise this week. Yeah, there's nothing you can actually do about that. Um, yeah, I mean, we probably want that. You know what? I think we want to go serve and volley and have attacking players our second one. And then third, if everything's going wrong, we go for that full out attack one. Yeah. Right. Okay, let's go then. Let's go. So we got uh, Martin Fuksovic in our first match. Uh, we got Indian Wells for Bouchard, Berrettini, and Federer. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, he's in top form. He's beaming. He's in good shape as well. Uh, let's just have a little look at our team in general. So he's on 
100%, 100%, 100%, that is absolutely perfect. Satisfaction zero at the moment. Right, let's get into it then. I'm, I'm nervous. Nervous. Uh, where is Berrettini in this draw? Uh, down at the bottom end. He's got to buy through to round two. He's actually the second seed here, so... Should, in theory, be in a, a decent position. Um, so, yeah, playing Martin, Martin Fuksovic in this next match. Uh, he's in mediocre form, plays most of his time as an aggressive baseliner. Uh, I think this will be an easy match, but Fuksovic is in better form. Keep his cool. Okay. Right, why don't we go for the attack and game plan? Just play normally and enter the locker room. Um, hey, nice. He reacted positively. So here we go then. Roger Federer in the first clay court match of the season. For us. Oh. Of course... Um, Roger, not a, a brilliant clay player. Well, the clay is not his, uh, a, a, you know, perfect surface, but he's still a very, very good clay court player, of course. Probably has, you know, something like the top five uh, most wins on clay. <laughs> but because Nadal has just been so much better, Federer um, just doesn't seem like a good player. But uh, excellent opening game for Martin Fuksovic. And, well, Federer is going to have to be on top form, it would appear, to get close to him today. Yeah, nice shot. Yep. First point for Roger. Good serve there. This is a good start. Nice. Let. Second service. Come on, let's hold to love. Yeah, nice one. Awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff from Roger there. Now, let's see how we get on in general here. Mm, here we go. Break point against Roger here. He's been looking very comfortable on serve so far. He's just thrown in a dodgy game at an awful point of the match. Come on, you've got to save this, Roger. Nice! Hits the line! That is what we needed. That was perfect. Mm, that wasn't good, though. Second serve, serve and volley. And follows that with a double fault. That's uh, that's how you know. Is this a new view? Don't remember this one last year. It's a very good experience uh, to watch Federer from here. I mean, you can see, you, you could see how close to the net all of his uh, shots were. That's how flat he hits the ball. And how attacking he is. Yeah, well, he's got half a chance here. Uh, 
Come on. Yes! Two break points. Oh, went for it. Yeah, nicely played. Thought he had it there. Oh, that's wide. Yeah. Third break point opportunity to keep him in this first set. Oh, that was a chance there, because that was a poor second serve from Fuksovic. Oh, that was so close. This is an awesome camera angle, by the way. But yeah, here's the one-two punch, yeah. So set point for Books of X now, and this is going to be it. There you go. There you go. Well, I'm going to hope that Federer can pull this back now. Oh, dear. Three break points. It's going to be another first round exit for Roger. Another bruising defeat against a player that Really, statistically, you shouldn't be getting beat by. But uh, this is a good fight back. Two break points saved. Not another double fault, please. Wow. Well, well, well. I have to say, I was being defeatist. I thought Federer was throwing it away. But he's come back in this game. Delightfully. Oh, unlucky there. I thought he had it. Second service. The thing is, Fuksovic's not even in a great physical shape. But it's still dominating Federer. But another point one at the net. Under pressure. Come on, son. Come on, Roger. Oh, that was unbelievable, that backhand. And if he holds on to this game, keeps him in the match. Yes, well done. Fair enough. Fair enough. You can do this. Come on. Oh, break point opportunity now for Roger. Mm, disappointing. But he has got another breakpoint opportunity straight away. Massive moment in this match. And there you go, Federer breaks. Federer breaks. And now, two set points for the former world number one. Second set. Oh, what a shot. Second set point now. Was in control of that and comes forward and wins it. That's what we want. Well done, Roger. That was a great performance there. Come on. Let's... Let's go and do this now. Let's go and win this match. Against the top 35 player in the world. From a set down. That would be a, a brilliant performance. There we go. Three set po uh, three break points, sorry. Virtual match points, you would feel. The way Fuksovic is... Uh, Looking now, oh, that was a chance. 
Right, let's see. Let's see him do this from over the shoulder. Mm, fair, fair play. Third break point. Lovely return. Comes forward and finishes it off. Yes! Come on, Roger. Let's do this now. Let's win this match from here. Good start. All you need to do is hold your serve twice. You can do that. You've done it millions of times in your career. Come on. Lovely shot. Lovely shot. You, you're seeing the casual Federer. Awesome. What a serve. 5-3 now. Come on, my son. Come on. Lovely drop shot. Oh, that would have been an awesome passing shot. It really would have been. Let's keep going with the over the shoulder, but speed it up a little bit. And here we go. Three match points for Roger Federer. What a performance. Come on, my son. He saved, uh, you know, un uncountable break points in that second set. He came back and he's one in three. That could be a real turning point. That was awesome. That was awesome. What a what a performance from Roger Federer. Uh, we need to work on the game plans more. As you can see, I don't have a good handle on my current game plans. We either need to work on that. Good idea. So, is that going to be part of his training? Let's try that. Uh, Bouchard. Bouchard and uh, Berrettini won their matches. Uh, his was by, obviously. So he's playing Taylor Fritz, who, of course, I think put, put Roger out in the last match. Now we're playing Diego Schwartzman. Um... This is a tough one. He's in medium form. A machine baseline. It's going to be a balanced match. He's in better form. Choose a high serve intensity to limit Diego Schwartzman's chances of breaking. Okay. Right, let's go then. Awesome, we got him pumped. We're starting to motivate Federer now. Here we go then. First set. Let's see how we get settled into this match. Going for the serve and volley game plan this time. Oh, not good. Not good start. Come on. Oh, and a double fault. Not good. He cannot afford to lose his serve in the first game. But that's exactly what could happen. But that was a bit long from Schwartzman. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Come on. Great hold, great hold from Love 30 down. That's long, just looped it long. Coming forward. Oh, that was the sort of point where he was at the net. Had the first chance. If our game plan's going to work, 
that's the sort of point he has to win. Again, he's at the net. Yeah. Those are the points that he has to win. Second service. Yeah, lovely. One two punch from Diego there. All right, come on, Roger. Let's uh, hold your serve. Ooh. Break point for Schwartzman. Second service. Fairly early in this set, and that's a poor shot from Federer. He gives away the break. Well, two break points. This was the, the game that Schwartzman serving for the set. This was where he was meant to take a 1 0 lead. We've got a chance to get back into this. Oh, lovely forehand there, though. Big point. Second serve. Yes! Come on! Come on, Roger! <gasps> oh, it, it works it, its way over the net. That was such a typical Roger mistake, that. Taking it too, too casually and now a double fault. That could have been love 30 straight away. But we got the look and that's a beautiful forehand. Awesome second serve. Two game points now. He's done it. He's done it. 6-5. Come on, Rog. Come on. Let's see if we can get an opportunity on the Schwartzman serve. Well, game points here to take it into a tie break. But if we can get juice, that would be awesome. And we have got juice. Come on, then. Oh, that's out. Set point, Federer. Set point. <sighs> I thought he, he was going to come and whack it down the line there. Didn't do that. Well, had a set point. Could that be our best chance? Because I don't fancy him in a tie break, if I'm honest. That's wide. Juice, Juice again. Oh, ho, 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 that was close. That was close. Come on. Come on. Little drop shot. Oh, he comes forward. Oh, what a pass. What a pass. Six games all in a tie break now. Ace down the tee to start it off. Perfect way. Come on now. Oh, double fault. We have the mini break. Can we make it two mini breaks here? No. Well played. Right, got to win this. Got to win this now. Oh, just about to. Not convincing, but did win it. That means we got a, a sort of free swing at this point, and we have won it. Come on, 4-1. Three points away from this first set. Awesome. Awesome. What a pass. Two mini breaks up now. Late. Second service. <gasps> and a double fault. Five set points for Roger Federer here. Servant and volley. Does it. Get in there, my son. Roger Federer 
wins the first set. And he leads one set to love now. Well, this is good. This is really good. Oh, that's out though. Right. Early break point opportunity. Never doubt Roger Federer. Never doubt him. This has been quite unbelievable. Another break point for the double break now. And surely an almost guaranteed route through to the quarterfinal. Little drop shot. He's done it. He's done it. Yes. Oh my word, this is just fantastic. Well, match point, here we go, let's watch it over the shoulder. Oh, he couldn't get to it. <laughs> but you can see, he's just confident, look, he's thrilled. That's an awesome drop shot. That's long. Second match point now for Roger. But again, staved off. But now he's got two match points on his serve. Come on. Oh, he's done it! It's out! Roger Federer has beaten Diego Schwartzman in straight set 7 6 6 2. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. Awesome. He's presumptuous now. I mean, that's probably not what we want. Uh, Berrettini's out. Berrettini is out. Lost in the last 16 to Taylor Fritz. 6-1-6-1. I mean, Berrettini not in great form. Berrettini's struggling out there. Uh, Federer's going to play Dominic Team now. And uh, Team is actually a wild card at this event. Number 79 in the world. But he's just beaten Andre Rublev in uh, straight sets, the world number six. Zverev at the top of the draw, making his way through safely so far. Uh, Sonogo, or Sonego, uh, there in, in that quarterfinal. Sh Shapovalov and Kasper Ruud will face off in that quarterfinal. Uh, and then Felix and Taylor Fritz will play in that one. But uh, here we go, Roger Federer. Once again, uh, he's in excellent form, his win on... Uh, Clay is 100% apparently. He just defeated Andre Rublev. He plays most of his times an aggressive baseline. It's going to be a balanced match. He's in better form. Roger has to keep his cool. Roger should try to move his opponent to the net. That's why he's not comfortable. Let's go then. Here we go. Into the match then against Dominic Team. First set. <sighs> Second set. Quite nice to start off with a break, and certainly would be. Good start. Ooh. Nice ace there. So, 30 all here. Half a chance. Oh, I thought that was going to be a, a lovely pass, but uh, he managed to get a racket on it. A little bit fortunate there, I think, team. Played that well, look. Now, come on, Roger. 
Let's see how you're serving in this match. Mm. I had a feeling this might happen. Three break points. Can he stave them off though? Oh, what a shot. What a backhand down the line there from Federer. One more to save, though. Doesn't do it. So, team who's in the better form, who's just beaten Rublev, looking very, very confident out there. That's wide. So saves the, the break point there. Yeah, good shot. Well, hold to serve. Not bad. And, well, actually has a break back point here. Was 40 love down in this game. Mm. Well, team... Doing a good job. Four, second service. Let second service. House, Duke. Well, this is this is huge. If I can break back here somehow. No, not looking likely now. And three set points for team. He's done it. Good first set for team. Um, I do think we perhaps need to go to a different strategy. Let's try the varied play and see what we can do here. Because I think being too predictable is what cost us in that first set. Nice pass. Second service. Oh, nice. I didn't expect him to win that point from there, but he did. Well, oh, what what a start to this second set. Well, lost two points in a row here and put a bit of pressure on ourselves. Mm, nice. 
Well, if we lost this game from here, that would be a disaster. Yeah, nicely controlled. Nicely controlled. Second set. Well held. I feel like that is going to make us struggle, though. Shot. We need to get the, the rallies over quickly in this match if we are to feature. Mm, but again... Break points for team. <clears throat> There's one saved. Let's get another one. Four. Second service. Game. Two games to one. <sighs> Fifteen low. That one, that's the one that we need. Oh, not good, not good. Yeah, it's it's unraveling now. Three break points. Team just in the better form. Fresher legs. Yeah, that felt like very much a final stand from Federer. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go out with a whimper now. Well, two break points. What could have been if we could have held on to that previous game? But two breaks down, it's very, very tough to see. How we come back from this. Well, team did hold in the end. And two match points now for Dominic team. Oh, well played. Well played. Completely out, uh, outdone there. Um, he slammed the door. I mean, I don't know what I was meant to say there, but uh, he got five grand from it. And it would have been... Zverev in the semi-final anyway. I don't see how we would have beaten him. Um, but yeah. Couple of wins under our belt though. That's uh, That's got to be a positive. So, yeah. Up next, uh, the Dubai Championship for him. He's up 10 places to number 57 in the world. Which is nice to see. Uh, Eugenie Bouchard didn't play last week so what we haven't done this year is uh, simulate so let's see what happens when you simulate against Garmon Fees oh ah won the first set and then 4-6 1-6 so uh, Monfils wins. Sad times. Yeah. A 
Bouchard winning. Berrettini out. Bouchard out. Berrettini in really terrible form. Right. So we are going to be in the Miami Open. Right, need to look at our training for Roger. Yeah. I see, I, I just don't understand how you do this. It just won't let us do anything. Yeah, I don't know. Well, let's do the, the one after that. No. Right. So... Okay, let's keep going then. I just don't understand how we sort this out. Okay, so I can do that. How do I remove that? There we go. He's not in good good shape apparently. But well, hey, what can we do? Uh, so Indian Wells, Dominic team actually top seed for this. I'm not really sure. Ah, are we not playing in the actual Indian Wells? Is that the issue here? Hang on, where are we? I'm so confused. Right, go to week nine. Yeah, we're playing in that. I believe we will be in that as well. But, um... Well, we'll see. So, play Mitchell Kruger. I mean, this should be a match that we, we should win. And we do six four seven six, very good. Um, let's keep going. Who's he got in the second round? Uh, Ernesto Escobedo. Okay. Simulate that. Oh my goodness, Roger absolutely dominated there. Six one six one. Now let's refuse that. I mean, if Roger's not winning those tournaments, I don't know what on earth we're meant to do. Uh, he better get in shape. Apparently he's in top form. Don't see that. Right, this is the actual proper Indian Wells. Round of 128. So Djokovic is playing, Berrettini's uh, in as well. Got Pablo Carrena Buster potentially in round two. Um, let's go then. Nice, 6-3, six, 6-2 six, in this first match. So now hopefully we're in a better position to take on Pablo Carrena Buster. But I think we will do that in the next episode. Um, Berrettini did actually win a match for once. That's his first win for 
quite some time. Took on uh, Facundo Bagnes. Uh, he's potentially going to be playing Maran Cilic in the next uh, round. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. That's where we're going to leave it for today. We definitely had some entertaining tennis early on in the episode and hopefully we can keep progressing. Hopefully we can keep doing good stuff with Roger. That's, that's the idea. Try and get him back into that top 32 so that he's at least seeded um, for the big ones. That's That's got to be our plan. We cannot be playing... Uh, Novak Djokovic in round one of Wimbledon that's just not going to help us but uh, yeah that's where we got to be and uh, hopefully we can do it for the next episode if you have enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe for plenty more tennis manager content and I hope you guys have a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye